at Democratic Party headquarters in Washington, Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi proclaimed a new day in the nation's capital. We will have a responsibility to find our common ground where we can, stand our ground where we can't, but we must try. A Democratic Congress will work for solutions that bring us together because we have all had enough of division. Pelosi is now on track to become the next Speaker of the House, thanks to Democrats like Jennifer Wexton, who won a Republican House seat in Virginia. I've been saying since the beginning of this campaign that change is coming to, uh, to America and change is coming to Virginia 10. And that change came tonight. But Republicans expanded their narrow majority in the Senate with defeats of Senate Democrats in North Dakota, Missouri, and Indiana, where Republican Mike Braun emerged victorious. We as conservatives, being led by President Trump, we've got to prove why our way of thinking, why what works in the state of Indiana is going to work for the rest of America. And I really believe I can weigh in on that argument. At the White House, spokeswoman Sarah Sanders said President Trump was pleased that Republicans had held the Senate. Uh, again, most of the candidates that the president actually went in, campaigned for, uh, and who embraced the president are doing well tonight. And at the end of the day, the president's going to work with whoever comes into office. The president's tough campaign rhetoric motivated voters on both sides, says analyst Rebecca Gill. It sort of um, polarizes folks and it gets uh, more people engaged on both sides. That was evident in voter interviews with a Trump supporter in California. I agree with many of the things he's done, not everything, but many of the things he's done. I think he's uh, got the best interest of our country uh, in mind, both domestically and also internationally. And with a Trump critic in New York. Yes, well, I hope, we're hoping that he has a bad dream from which we are just beginning to awaken. First of all, by taking the House of Representatives, and in two years, by taking the Senate and the White House. Okay. Goodbye, Trump. In the end, Trump was a key issue for both sides, says analyst Capri Cafaro. There is enthusiasm on both sides, which I think is why we are seeing significantly tight races across the board in these areas that are have been identified as uh, toss-up states, toss-up races across the country. Trump and the Democrats now face a new question. Can they work together even as both sides begin preparing for the next presidential race just two years away? Jim Malone, VOA News, Washington.